Hello, I'm Joshua Bell, and I'm here with my pianist and great friend Alessio Bax. We're going to perform uh, a piece by the great violin virtuoso of the 19th century, Vinyavsky. Uh, this is his Polonaise Brilliant in D major.
Hey, I'm Charles Yang. I'm Peter Dugan. And you are about to hear our arrangement of House of the Rising Sun. Uh, this is a tune that many know, and we put our special spin on it. So, yeah. hope you enjoy. There is a house in New Orleans. They call the rising sun. And it's been a ruin for many poor boys. And guys. I know I'm one Not to do what I have done. Spend your life in sin and misery in the house of the rising sun. Thank you. 
the piece we're about to play, it's just a, a piece with a tremendous amount of emotional outpouring and um, sensitivity for uh, of all kinds. Uh, I think it's deeply emotional, and I think it really draws a lot out of the players. It draws a lot, I think, out of the listener to really put yourself in that place. Um, so in a sense, it's easy listening in the sense that it's, I think, easily appreciated, but difficult in the sense of really getting to the emo emotional depths that I think that the, 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 the movement can bring you to.
My name is Kevin Drew, and I'll be playing Brahms' Sonatensatz for you all. Uh, this piece was composed when Brahms was only 22, and seeing as I'm almost that age, I'm 20 years old, uh, I figured it would be nice to bring some youthful vitality and um, energy to this series. And I really love the piece. Um, it's one of his most well-known and well-liked pieces, and um, for good reason.
My name is Nathan Meltzer, and I'm going to be playing Jesse Montgomery's Rhapsody No. 1 for solo violin. Um, Jesse Montgomery is a contemporary composer and violinist living in New York, and she plays with the Catalyst Quartet, and so she's written a lot of wonderful music for violin and for um, chamber music and string playing, and so it's, uh, she's a composer that I've recently, you know, whose work I've really recently fallen, fallen in love with, um, and it's very, you know, a very deep, you know, textured and, you know, warm, dark colors that I, that I really um, enjoy playing. So I'm very grateful to be playing it for you today.
Hi, I'm Sophia Bessler. Hi, I'm Jemai Melvin. And this is Oblivion, which is one of my favorite tangos from Piazzolla, and I'm very excited to be presenting it with dance, which is how it should be. Hi, I'm Tessa Lark, and I am presenting to you Chrysler's Liebeslide with a little twist. My um, hero, Frank Vignola, an amazing jazz guitarist, is joining me for this number. Um, many people before me have turned Chrysler's music into jazz numbers. The first one that comes to mind is Eddie South. He has a Preludium and Allegro uh, jazz version that's, that's really, really cool. Um, but Chrysler's music, the Liebeslide in particular, um, you can just take it as it is and it's actually in jazz waltz form and the chord progression in the music is very jazz-like. So Frank and I, um, I just sent him the piano score and that's all he needed. And then we met up, we played for the first time on the stage in Merkin Hall and, and that's what you're gonna see. It was so much fun. So um, here is Liebeslide.
Hi, we're the Junction Trio. Uh, my name is Jay Campbell. This is Stefan Jakiv. This is Conrad Tao on piano. We are about to present to you in your living room uh, John Zorn's Ghosts, a piano trio from 2016. And it is full of a lot of interesting sound, things inside the piano, um, all kinds of spookiness and horrifying psychological pain and nostalgia and glorious chords arising from cracks in the earth. And I hope you enjoy it.
Hello, this is Jordan Bach. Uh, the piece that you're about to hear uh, is titled Wending by Jeffrey Mumford. Um, this piece I've been really excited about performing. Jeffrey Mumford, you know, is such an amazing BPOC composer. And Wending was originally written uh, for Wendy Richmond, a wonderful violist. And so that's really where the title comes from. Um, and during this time, I think it's so important to highlight um, the composers of black indigenous uh, people of color, and so it's been really exciting to, you know, be in contact with him and to work on this piece and to perform something that's so dear to me and also to him. Uh, and it's just a really wonderful, um, gorgeous piece. Hope you enjoy it.
I'm violinist Philip Quint. This is pianist Jun Cho. And uh, we're going to play for you uh, Nigun by Ernest Bloch. Uh, this is his uh, three uh, pictures from Hasidic life. And Nigun is an improvisation, and uh, it was inspired by the great Rabbi who supposedly had mysterious powers, uh, Baal Shem Tov. Uh, Bloch wrote it in the memory of his mother. I would like to dedicate this piece to uh, my uh, dear grandfather who recently passed away, whose name is Gersher Quint. Uh, I just want to say that I love him and, and I hope he's in a better place.
Thank you. 